Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome back to another Ashes Throwback video. In today's video, we are playing arguably the best cricket game to have ever been made. Brian Lara Cricket 99, or if you're in Australia or New Zealand, it would have been Shane Warne Cricket 99. So what we're going to do here, we're going to play probably 10 overs uh, of each innings, well, of one innings each between uh, England and Australia in an Ashes match. Exciting times. I thought I'd leave the best game, in my opinion, till last. And that is, of course, uh, Shane Warne Cricket 99. Grew up playing it, uh, playing many hours of this as a kid, and it was fantastic. So we're throwing it back. It's probably going to be the last video as well of this Ashes Throwback series. So I thought I should give it, should make the video the best game in my opinion. And we're going to play as let's play as Australia here in this match. Or oh, first test Manchester. No, I want it to be at the Oval. So I'm going to keep chipping away until we actually make it to the Oval because. It will, we'll, I'll bring this out one uh, probably the, the day of or the day before the Ashes Test match, the fifth one. So exciting time. Let's go down. Let's go continue. Let's pick the side. Here we go. Nice. We're playing at the Oval. Yes, we are. And let's pick this team. I'm going to start with uh, the best 11. So it's normal, warm, low chance of rain and overcast. Pretty standard stuff. Let's go best 11. We've got Taylor, the captain, Slats, uh, Wars. War Twins, uh, Ponting, Bevan, Healy, Rifle, Warren, Fleming, and McGrath the 11. Do we need to make any changes here? Now, I'm tempted to change it, but I don't know if I will, because we've got Langer on the sidelines there. We've got Slater opening up for him. Uh, we've got Gilchrist uh, not keeping because Healy's there. So, I think I'm going to just keep it the same. Let's just run the best 11. That's what the game says, so that's what we're going to run. And, uh... Yeah, let's go. Playing at the Oval, Firth Ashes Test. Let's get around it. Welcome to the first test between England and Australia at the Oval. There's certainly some rain in the air here today, but we should be starting the match on time. However, we might not get a full day's play by the look of the clouds around the ground, I'm afraid. And the great Sir Geoffrey Boycott joins me in the commentary box for this match. We'll get your thoughts on the match uh, in a moment, Geoffrey. But first of all, what about this pitch? Well, Jonathan, yeah, a nice day for batting, but there's a bit of grass on the pitch, so there'll be a bit of early movement for the seam bowlers. But the bounce won't be particularly high, so it shouldn't cause any problems for batsmen if they get forward whenever possible. After the new ball, I think the spinners will bowl a lot of overs. It will turn, probably slowly and predictable. It shouldn't cause batsmen of quality too many problems. All in all, you'd like to win the toss and bat first. So win the toss and bat first, apparently, according to a Jeffrey Boycott, let's a toss... Well, we've called, uh, we've called here. Can we call correctly? If we do win this house, I will be batting, thanks to Boycott's advice. And it is England, and they've chosen to bat, and that's unfortunate. We've got to open up with Glenn McGrath, so all the best, mate. Now, we look at the overalls here. England's batting and bowling, both uh, pretty average compared to Australia. The fielding on par, not that that really means too much here. But uh, here we go. We're about to get amongst the first ball of this Ashes Test, 11 a.m., Let's have a look at the uh, side, the English side. Atherton, Butcher, Hussain, Stuart, Thorpe, Hick, Elam, Croft, Goff, Headley, and Mullally. Right, let's go first ball. Let's go McGrath. First ball of this Ashes Test at the Kia Oval. Well, all the Oval, if you will. The purists out there. Let's go. First ball. Charging in. Blocked. Wait, no run. So yeah, I'll play. I'll bowl for ten overs. I'll generate innings, and then we'll uh, bat, and hopefully we can uh, chase down their score. Slow ball, well bowled. Playing this on the PS1 emulator, and it's still kind of laggy, which I'm surprised at. Just to show how shit my computer is. Let's go again. McGrath charging in. Can we get an early wicket here? Blocked. But yeah, this game's up there as uh, one of my favourites. Just the amount of hours I played, the nostalgia of it all, and I mean the game still still holds up. That's like I could just play this for a long time. Um, let me know your thoughts uh, if you guys had this game growing up and uh, any favourite memories from that. It's, um, even though the graphics are like sort of not the greatest, it's still like for for the time, I thought it's pretty decent. Plus, uh, doing all those like challenges and unlocking like different sort of cheats, like the big balls one, sausages, Superman, to name a few. Um, what is it, beach ball as well, or beach or something? So you can play on the beach, you can play with a 
a beach ball superman hit sixes every ball sausages they drop every catch just stuff like that don't see it don't see it in the newer games really so it's nice to be able to like play these older style games with these picked up by Taylor. sort of uh sort of cheats and yeah just just throw them back it's all it's all nostalgia for me let's go return to the action who else is going to open up it's got to be the bolologist damien fleming fleming to start a new over maiden to start off here here we go i'm gonna go straight for the toes that's pretty much surely that's a yorker here come on and damien oh good whippage no run there though i'm gonna change the field here i'm gonna go quite aggressive tight no, i don't want tight we want attacking oh i don't mind that oh actually yeah let's go fucking aggressive yep rate it let's go this can we change the camera angle to go back a tiny bit default side oh bowling on the side helmet cam side two we've got the blimp reverse batsman batsman slips camera jesus yep boundary all right there's a fair few here let's go bowler cam to start off oh hang on oh, this is like cricket 22 starting with the bowler running in here too bad the uh it's laggy shot straight to gully no run let's run through a couple of these different camera angles though so we'll, we'll do this for a couple and then i'll switch it up because I, as a kid, I didn't, pl I didn't play around with the camera settings at all. I just played whatever the defaults were. That's solid. Let's go action cam. What's action cam? Am I not even going to be able to see this? Oh, jeez. I don't know where I've put the ball. Oh, it's changed colour. Oh, what? Shot. There's Ron. There's a man out there, though. I'd say we got away with that one. Changing it up to aerial. I actually don't know where the, uh, the ball marker is or what we're waiting on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Here's the ball marker. And that's where it's going to stay. Fair enough. Charging in. Solid. This is boring stuff, England. Going for a slow ball here. It's pretty much a half volley, though. It'll be interesting to see how they play it. England, one for none. Shot. That's one run out there. This is solid field placement. Are they going to come back for two? Surely. No, only the one. So this is like looking at uh, from the batting view in the new cricket games. But uh, we're actually bowling it, so let's see how we go. Just waiting for the uh, bowler marker to come up here. Getting a... Oh, yep. Okay, we're going to go. This is this is short. Oh, shot. Another single out there. We're going up there with a blimp. Get around it. Oh, Jesus. Looking a bit rough up there. It almost looks like Career Captain uh, graphics from up here. I want to go good length delivery. Should be up. Oh, no. No, we're going Yorker. Fair enough. Charging in. I can barely see the ball, and he's blocked it anyway. Last ball of the fourth over. It's been... <laughs> they're playing... I mean, they're playing test cricket, and it's uh, fucking boring, so... Giving one outside off. Slow ball. Driven through the Runs. Oh, thank goodness we've got a... Bear. Is it even going to go? Come on, son. He wants to step over. Wants to go here. No. Going to get only two out of it as well. Warney. Jeez, I tell you what, what's the hair doing? What the hair doing? Anyway, let's go Shane. Let's uh, get a few poles here. Let's go. Let's feed Healy some uh, some edges, eh? 11.19 a.m. Thanks for the time there. Let's go. Just on a good length, turning in. Cheers. What's going to happen? No, boring, mate. Swept away, some more runs, thank goodness. Give us something to chase. We need at least like 30, I reckon. But uh, look, we're almost halfway. And they've picked up another two there. Moving on to seven, watch out. Oh, bloody disco going here with the uh, the hair colors changing. Everything's sort of changing. Oh, Jesus. Struggle Street. All right, last ball of the over. Seven for none. About to be the end of five overs here. It's all kicking off. And it's just a blockathon. Two balls to go on the over. I want to bowl somewhat short. And this one, this one's like half track at areas though, so this may not go well. Ooh, a bit of swing though. First slip takes that. Is that a wide? That one was a wide, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna go very short here. 
I'm not sure what to expect. That's my bolt. It's in the wide. Piss off. Right, and in, in the attempts of trying to get them to score a few more runs, I'm going to bring Punter on. Uh, three overs to go. England 12 for none. It's been pretty grim. Um, look, yeah. I just I want to work it. I want them to slash at one, get the slips involved, and then just get at least one wicket. Or just hit some dingers. Oh, this is leg sideish. Let's go. The chameleon changing colours on the go here. That's actually a great nut. Right, here we go. Last over. I've got rifle charging in here. Let's at least get a wicket. They are going very slowly here. We should chase this down. But uh, you know what? We'll just try and score as many rounds as we can. Ah, oh, boring, mate. Edged. Edged. And taken. Oh, we got a wicket. What the hell? Oh, it's Jesus. It's only come the last over. But, uh, yeah, he's edged it. And it's went into one of the slips there. The bowler's not having any bar of it. Everyone else is celebrating. Butcher goes for 9 of 29. Caught Warren. Get around that. 16 for 1. I'll give him a juicy half all the way outside off. See if he wants to have a slash at it. Let's go rifle. Oh, edged. That's flown off the edge too, the inside edge. And he's going to pick up one. Here we go, last ball of the innings. Oh boy, 17 for one. It's been blockbuster baseball type areas. And uh, I'm just thankful we got a wicket. We got something. I don't know how much of this footage is actually going to make the uh, the video because it was a lot of blocking. A lot of boring stuff. But here we go, last ball, rifle. Let's get another edge, mate. Nah, blocked it. Of course he did. And there we go, England after 10, 17 for 1. So there we go, England all out for 213, Atherton 54, Stuart 50, Thorpe 43 not. Interesting, and then let's have a look at the bowling. Don't think we will. We're going to open up with Taylor and Slats. Right, here we go, Headley charging in, 213. I'm going to try and hook this straight away. That's in the air. Run it. And safe. Just the one. Yeah, just the one off the mark, first ball. Let's go Slats, what's he going to do? He's going to go straight on the stumps here. I think this one's going to be a whippage. Oh, he swept it. Run. Stopped by Gilem. Oh, I, don't, I forgot the buttons. Another short one here. I'm tipping a hook shot for six. That's in the air. Oh, no. And there's a fielder underneath it. Oh, what? Out? Oh, it's out. Oh, no. It took a while to uh, register there, but Slats goes for a duck. Headley with a wicket, Elam with a grab. Australian disarray here. Ho oh, ho, no. Slater There's the duck. His way back to the pavilion. Welcome back. Hovering across the screen there. We love that. Anyway, Taylor. I've got to try and put the circle button away, which is, of course, a six hitting button. Shot. The fielder. Shot. That's four. Got to be. Cracking little shot that one. Another short one. I mean, it, it's working. I'm gonna try a cut shot though. Right. Shot. Ah, uh, straight to gully. There we go. Last ball of the over. Five off. It's on the stumps here. I've got to try and play a defensive shot. I just got to remember what button it is. There we go. Solid. Oh, it's raining. Hang about. Imagine a game in '99 having rain, and new games not. Oh, what's going on? Jeez, I can't remember seeing a rain delay since I've played. Look at that. We've got the covers on. Six o'clock, so start of a new day here. I'm just waiting for the rain to subside. It has stopped. Covers are going to come off. Jeez, I can't remember seeing that. How oh, good. Good timing. Now, is it going to be the start of a new day? It's probably got to be, right? Match conditions day two. Normal warm, average rain, overcast. Right, we might, might be seeing a bit more rain here. Here we go, start of a new day. Five Goff for one, start of day two. Over. It's Darren Goff going to be charging in here. It's going to be another sure one. Oh, here we go. Going to try and uh, pull this one. For oh, whippage. Tucked off his legs. Going to get one, maybe two. Going to chance a second. Oh, I should get there easily. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's out. Sure, so I thought he was going to get there easily. Oh no! There's the red light. Yeah, gone. 
Oh, the crowd's frothing it too. What are we doing, team? Punter run out for one. It's a huge wicket. I thought we need like I don't know. I just thought we we're home and hose there, but no. Good, uh, good feeling there from the uh, English side, and now it's Mark War's turn. Six for two. Australia under the pump early. That's been shot. Shots. Junior pumps it down the ground for four. The fielder isn't going to catch. Shot. That. Another boundary. War on flames well, at the moment. Should... Fourteen for two. So we're going to get their total in the second over. It's nice. Oh, what can we do here? Is it out? Oh, it's in the gap. Yes. Run it. Do I chance another? Do I chance a second? Yes. I'm going to. Oh, this could be a mistake though. Nah, safe. Oh, nah, safe, mate. Better running there. 16 for two now. Two of us are going to second. This one's going to be hit through mid wicket, hopefully. Right. Shot. That yes. sound it makes is just elite. I think we're going to go for another two. Run it. Easy two there, lads. Right. Whack. Driven through the offside. Not getting a whole lot of it. I mean, it's a slow outfield. It's been raining. We try here. two. No. I oh, pressed the wrong button. Oh, no. It's going to be run out for sure. Yeah. I, I don't know what the uh, cancel button is, umpire. and I've absolutely butchered it. There's the red light. Yeah. Long out. gone. What are we doing? That's Whack. That sucks, yeah. You can hear it that from the sound of the bat there. Hit. That just sounded like a stinger straight off the bat. And this is a great start to that. Uh, actually, no, it's not. We've lost a couple of wickets, but we've hit a few runs. So uh, we take the good with the bad. Taylor on 13 off 7. He's flying now. 1 4 1 6. Oh no! I've gone, for a, I've gone to launch it. Leg stump flying. Oh, I've really got to put the old circle button away here. It's causing all sorts of drama. Leg stump out the ground. Bevan Whirlwind innings coming to an end here. It's now Michael Bevan, 27 for 4. I mean, we may have won the uh, the internal battle here, but overall, we could lose the game. Shot. No Picked run, though. By... England love bowling short here. What can we do with this ball? Oh, no. Very quick Is that out? Golf. I don't know if that was uh, off the glove Australia, or what was going on. I'm going to try and hit it... Uh, by fine leg. Goes for the sweep. What a shot. Go the ball. I mean, it's not going to be four because the commentator hasn't said anything about it. So he's standing on the line, surely, mate. We'll get two out of it at least. Moving on to the 31. It's in the air. That could be out. It could be out. And safe. Oh, we'll drop short. Thank goodness. Just the one. Shot. Sounds so good off the bat. It's not going to go though. Slow outfield here at the uh, oval. Do we chance a third? I'd say that'd be silly. Four. Four. All the way. Crunching shot there. I'm actually, I am actually might uh, generate the innings after this over because we've already got that the score. Cover drive. Don't lose any more wickets and then we'll see how we go because, um, yeah. This partnership's been alright at the moment. Bowling full now. I think I'm going to try and hoik it over a cow. Oh, it's misleg stump just. Okay, we're going to go with the cross bat sweep. Great fielding. Love that. Mate, that's not out. I've gone for a direct hit, which is already in our crease, mate. Shot. Oh, you're kidding. We've cut it straight to gully. Wall goes for 10. Headley's on flames. He's taking three for. Okay, last ball. I'm going to stop after this one because the wickets are an issue. Healy. Although I'm going to try and hit this for six, though. So, all the best. It's in the air. Oh, no. And put down. Oh, it's oh dropped it. We've put the sausages cheat code in. It's worked a treat. All right, let's go through and generate the innings here. What do they end up on? Do they get more than 200? 113 all out. Jesus. Top score, Bevan with 35. Oh, man. Well, let's, uh, let's generate the second uh, innings and see who comes out on top. England in reply, 155 all out, Stuart 40, top scoring, Elam 30 not, Warren took 3. Right, so what do they need to win? Um, we'll keep this as the lineup. So Australia need 256 to win. 
It is day three, I want to say. Let's go and generate it. I reckon they're going to get it done. All right, here we go. We have set a new record. Partnership between Ponting and Slater. Yeah, okay. Just leave it like that. They win then. Australia won by four wickets. Wow, chased it down pretty comfortably in there. Man of the match, Headley. Let's take a look here. Do they... Can we see the bowling? There we go. In the first innings, Goff to Headley to Elam and Croft one apiece. And there was... Oh, no, that was the one that got chased down. All oh, right. Slater, 79. P P Ponting, 69. War, 49. Healy, 39. Let's take a look at the previous innings. So it's the second innings. Who took wickets? Four for War, three for Warren. England, first innings. Headley took five. No wonder he got play of the match. Elam, two for... And then uh, four for Bevan. Jeez, Bevan, righto, mate. So there we go, that one-off test at the Oval. This happens in real life as well. Australia win by four wickets and win the Ashes. Um, yeah, nice. Um, anyway, that's going to be an end to this Ashes throwback series. It's been a lot of fun making them. There were a few games that I wanted to play, but the game wouldn't work for me. So ones like Cricket 2004, 2005, Brian Lara 2007 so uh, i wanted to play those didn't work unfortunately but you know i thought this was a great game to finish off with if you guys want to uh let me know in the comments below about any other sort of series or games i could do to do with these old games then let me know but uh yeah thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this uh, video please leave a like and subscribe if you're feeling up to it well, please leave a comment down below always appreciate reading those but uh, until then take it easy